Hello all you YouTubers, this is Wallington Filming, Painting and Decorating Trade Secret and today we're just going to do a little review on um, acrylic satin finish uh, it doesn't matter what uh, make of paint it is but this particular one's crown okay so I'm just going to give you an idea of the disadvantages of using uh, a water-based finish from start to finish okay now the good advantages of uh, using uh, a water-based system from undercoat to uh, satin finish or gloss finish whatever using a water-based product is you doing your bit for the environment okay the disadvantage of this is obviously as you can see here we've got skirting boards and I've uh, done door frames etc and stairs so the disadvantage of using a water-based system is um, is that what can happen is if you've got skirting boards for instance like I've got here uh, where you've uh, done your preparation undercoated it in a water-based undercoat and finished it with a, a, a water-based finish uh, paint is if you've got staining like a water stain on your skirting boards i.e. Your, your skirting boards are made out of um, MDF or even wood the disadvantage of this is if you get a water stain on your, your timber it's going to bleed through the undercoat and bleed all the way through the, the finished coat when I mean bleed through what I'm trying to tell you is if a if piece of timber or MDF gets wet it'll, uh, it'll develop a, a stain in the actual timber and that'll, that'll just come through uh, the, the, the finished paint so I'll just give you an example this bit of skirting board here has um, been undercoated and then finished in this acrylic which is water based acrylic satin finish and um, I noticed from when I was doing the undercoat that the water stain on this particular bit of skirting board uh, had come through the undercoat so it was obvious it was going to come through on the actual finished paint so if I just get a close up there for you you should be able to see that water stain see that water stain that's like a watermark water stain coming all the way through the finish okay so that's that's actually been finished in this satin now and you've got a water stain which is quite visible through the finished coat of the paint all right now the only way to uh, get around that is undercoat it and then put uh, a stain block on the top of the undercoat and then finish it off with the acrylic uh, finish that you've got so that, that's basically what you get using a water-based system it can be a bit of a problem okay you could get rid of that also by undercoating the skirting boards uh, in um, a stain block first and then undercoat and gloss in a water-based system but uh, that's the sort of thing you're going to be up against using a water-based system okay so I hope, hope you enjoyed that little review on uh, water-based system on your uh, your property okay uh, I'll just give you a quick look round let's see Timber. all this has been done in uh, a water-based system including the frames okay but uh, on, on particular bits of skirting board in this property you have got uh, a water stain or watermark coming through the actual finish coat of paint okay all the stairs done in water based system so there you go so that's Wellington filming paint and decorating trade secrets 
disadvantages of using a water-based system on your woodwork in your property, whether it's uh, new or old. Uh, good advantage is you're doing your bit for the environment and not using oil-based systems. Okay, wanted to film it, painting, decorating, trade secrets. Thanks to all my subscribers, much appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe yourself. Thumbs up, comments most welcome. Until next time, catch you later.